Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, coming at you with another tutorial. This one is Timeline Techniques Part 2. In our last part of this tutorial, we talked about patching and adding audio tracks and video tracks and all kinds of stuff like that, and the neat little tricks you can do in the timeline. But for this one, we're going to be mainly going over slipping and sliding our segments in the timeline as well as a few things on video quality playback and how to set dissolves and stuff like that in between your tracks on the edit point. So if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials, I highly recommend it. Uh, this is part two of a two-part uh, course or class, as Power Learning 21 says. So um, I'm sure you'll learn quite a bit about Avid and everything from all the different classes that I've put up here so far. Um, and like I say in all my other Avid tutorials, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't mean that I'm a certified instructor in either of those programs. So I hope you guys get a you know a little bit out of this because I'm doing it for your guys' benefit, and hopefully these videos will help you out. So let's get started. Okay, um, last time we talked a little bit about trimming and a lot about segment mode editing. And there's also this little uh, thing you can do in the timeline called slipping or sliding your segments. And what you can do there is you could take a segment and uh, slip it or move the clip back and forth, but make, make sure that it's uh, stationary right here. We're only going to be trying to utilize some of the other footage that may have come from the source clip without having to go back into the timeline and you know well back into the source monitor and pressing an in and an out and then